As we have covered, when an action potential propagates down the axon to the presynaptic terminal, the electrical signal will result in a release of chemical neurotransmitters that will communicate with the postsynaptic cell. When the action potential reaches the terminal, there is an influx of sodium ions. This inward current causes a depolarization of the terminal, activating voltage-gated calcium channels. There is a strong electrochemical gradient that moves calcium into the terminal. The voltage-gated calcium channels are concentrated in the presynaptic terminal at active zones the regions of the membrane where small molecule neurotransmitters are released. At active zones, some synaptic vesicles are docked and ready for immediate release upon arrival of the action potential. Other neurotransmitter-filled vesicles remain in a reserve pool outside of the active zone. Vesicles filled with neuropeptides do not dock at active zones. They are located outside of the active zone, further away from the membrane and the high density of voltage-gated calcium channels, and are therefore slower to release than the small molecule transmitters. Docking of synaptic vesicles packaged with small molecule neurotransmitters occurs through the interaction of three membrane-bound proteins called snare proteins. Synaptobrevin is called a V-snare because it is located on the vesicular membrane. Syntaxin and SNAP25 are called T-snares because they are located on the terminal membrane, which is the target membrane. The interaction of these three proteins leads to vesicle docking at the active zone. The influx of calcium through the voltage-gated calcium channels initiates the exocytosis process that leads to neurotransmitter release. Calcium enters the cell and interacts with another vesicle-bound protein called synaptotagmin. This protein is a calcium sensor, and when calcium is present at the active zone, synaptotagmin interacts with the snare proteins. This is the first step toward exocytosis of the synaptic vesicle. Once synaptotagmin interacts with the snare proteins, the synaptic vesicle membrane fuses with the presynaptic terminal membrane and the neurotransmitters are released into the synaptic cleft through exocytosis. After exocytosis of the transmitter molecules, they enter the synaptic cleft and bind to receptors on the postsynaptic membrane. Receptors fall into two main categories, ligand-gated channels and G-protein-coupled receptors. The next two chapters cover these receptors.